Hey guys, Eric here, and we have a strange video today. Very strange video. So we're looking back at Supergirl, and we're talking about David Harewood, uh, an actor who was a big part of that show, one of my favorite characters on the show. And um, he's returning with some really interesting comments here. Uh, this is over an article at Deadline, I believe. Yes, an article over at Deadline, where he is talking about actors in blackface. Now, if you're not familiar with blackface, it has a long history uh, here in the United States, unfortunately, of actors who are white uh, painting themselves to look black and then making fun of black people. That is what blackface is and was. Um, hopefully, no one's really doing it anymore, but it has a long history, painful history here. So this article uh, that he's in here on Deadline uh, this is quite interesting to say the least. It says, Homeland star David Harewood makes case for white actors to be able to black up for roles. The name of the game is acting. I'm really curious what you guys think about this. I'm almost afraid to look at the comments after talking about the story. Anyway, let's just read a portion of this article and then we'll talk about it. Homeland star David Harewood says he's worried about the creep identity of politics and acting and argued that white performers should be able to black up. In an interview with The Guardian to mark his appointment as president of the British school drama RADA, Harewood made the case for controversial casting decisions on the proviso that performers deliver. He says here, we're at this strange point in the profession where people go, oh, you can't play that role because you're not disabled, or you can't play that role because you're not really from there. The name of the game is acting, he said. This is where things get a little weird. Yes, we've got to be representative, but I do think we have to be careful. That even extends to Othello in blackface. I say if you want to black up, have at it, man. You better be fucking good or else you're going to get laughed off the stage. But knock yourself out. Anybody should be able to do anything. And then he goes on, literally the only way I could go on stage was to get hammered. I really didn't enjoy my experience. I hated acting, hated the profession, hated what I was doing, totally lost my confidence. And that's just kind of an excerpt from the actual article. But we have to talk about this for a second. I honestly cannot believe, I cannot believe that this man who was on Supergirl <laughs> thinks that blackface in acting in 2024 is okay. To say I'm disappointed doesn't really express my, my how I actually feel deep down inside about this. Um, there's a lot of things I'm willing to overlook with actors when it comes to like a difference of opinion, whether it be political or social, there's certain things that for me personally, I can go, okay, I don't, I don't agree with that, but I get it. I can look beyond it. I can still support their work. Maybe they said something stupid down the road or something like that. It really depends on what it is. But I would say for me, advocating that white people should be able to paint themselves black and play black characters is a step too far for me personally. I just don't believe at all any, any reality that that's okay. And I'll be honest, I would feel a little weird if people that I respected thought that it was okay. I don't think that's the same. To me, it's not the same as pretending you're from another country or using an accent to sound different. I don't think those are the same things. I think Painting yourself black when you're not to be in a movie or a play or something. It's racist to me. It just is. I don't think there's any other argument in my mind that works. Maybe I'm off my rocker. Maybe, I, maybe I'm the odd person out on this one. I would like to think I'm not because I feel like it's disrespectful. But the thing is, the fact that this made it, they made an article about this tells me that I'm probably not the only person that feels this way. Now, again, I, I really loved David in Supergirl. I think he was like part of the heart and soul of that show. And obviously the, the role he's taking here is a big, important role. And to have somebody in that position doing that kind of job, saying these kinds of things, it's really concerning to me. I don't, I don't even know I'm laughing because of how uncomfortable it's making me because it's not that I don't think it's actually a funny statement. I just, I don't know how to respond to it rationally 
if that's is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know how to respond to this rationally because it seems so irrational to me for someone in 2024 um to say something like that. I don't know. Like or I need to oil my chair, <laughs> by the way. Um, I don't know though. I is this a is this coming back? Please tell me this isn't coming back. Tell me this isn't something that people are going to be okay with. I really, 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 really hope not. Uh, but I am curious what you guys think. So actors in blackface, is this acceptable in 2024? I, I would like to think no, but am I on the outside on this one? Let me know in the comments below.